Hi, my name is Angus Ho with Daddy Dad, a part of the Ash Management Group. I want to show how you can budget as a full-time engineer, make real estate investments, and live an exceptional family life as a dad. So, come along with me in this journey of wealth. Landlording is a big job. There will be times when you have questions and you don't know what to do. Times when the law isn't clear. Times when you're at wit's end with a tenant and you need support. It's not always being a solo investor or it's not always easy being a solo investor or a landlord. Therefore, finding support with like-minded people is very important. By isolating and doing things by yourself will mean that there by isolating and doing things by yourself will mean that more mistakes will happen which will lead to more time being consumed by learning it all by yourself. This is exactly the opposite of what I'm going for. So make sure that you pay attention all the way including smashing that like button. I would love it if you would do this simple favor. By not investing properly, the save part of the ASH method would be much harder. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. Let's get right into support for real estate investors and landlords. The first place I would look into is Bigger Pockets. It was originally founded by Josh Dorkin, who exited in 2018 as a sh It was originally founded by Josh Dorkin, who exited in 2018 as a chief executive officer. Bigger Pockets offered content, tools, and a community of over 2 million members to help people avoid mistakes. Learn valuable, learn value to avoid mistakes, learn valuable tips, learn va to help people avoid mistakes, learn valuable tips, find partners, deals, and financing, and make the best investing decision possible. Bigger Pockets works hard to bring together real estate experts, newbies, and everyone in between to gain the knowledge needed to reach their full potential. I love the Bigger Pockets podcast by Brandon Turner. They provide so much information on the different types of strategies. They, they provide so much information on the different types of strategies they use in the real estate markets. They talk about fix and flips, buy and hold, and even my favorite, the Burr strategy. Brandon Turner interviews different successful real estate investors like Ryan Serhant, Grant Cardone, even the popular HGTV property brother host Jonathan Scott. Another thing that bigger pockets have are calculators. They have calculators for almost any strategy as well as as they have calculators for almost any strategy as well. They have calculators for almost any for any strategy as well, including rental properties, fix and flip, burr, rehab estimator, wholesaling, mortgage payment, and the 70% rule. Another thing that I love is their bookstore. Brandon Turner and David Green has written many books and they are all packed with knowledge. My favorite ones include the book of investing in real estate with no and low money down. And of course, the long distance real estate investing. The last thing I love is their forums. I contribute their forums all the time. And if you want, you can find me there too. If you haven't heard enough from me about bigger pockets, I highly suggest you check it out now.
The second place I would check out is Facebook groups. You'd be surprised how many landlord groups there are for each state. If you just search up state, if you search up state and the keyword landlord, a group literally pops up in every state. If you just search up state and the keyword landlord, a group literally pops up in every state. It's so useful to be part of these types of groups to ask questions. Get stories and find support amongst landlords. It's sometimes crazy to see some of the stories that appear in the group that I'm in. The group I'm in has a list of undesirable tenants. This landlord talks about how this tenant had left their place trash, they had unpaid rent, they had pet feces everywhere, the tenant had stolen all things of value within the house. Unfortunately, we wish that all tenants were sick. Unfortunately, we, unfortunately, we just wish that all tenants were model citizen tenants. But the fact of the matter is, they're not. It's, a, it's great to have this landlord group to cross-reference names to make sure no one else had them before. In this Facebook group, the administrators also run the shop talk every week about all things landlording. In this group, they have all kinds of representatives, like real estate agents, bailiff services, lawyers, and property managers. There are lots of free and good advice in this group. Not only that, but these landlord groups get discounts for many major landlording tools like property management, credit checks, background checks, and much more. They also provide a lot of landlording documents including lease templates, notices, and application forms. Facebook groups is one of the best tools and a gem to find. I highly recommend it. The third place I would look is your local rental association. Every state or even down the third place I would look is your local rental association. Every state or even every state or even town every state or even down to the city may have their own rental association. So join of to join of course will require some money with rental associations. My local residential rental association does have a tier system depending on how many houses you have. My local association does start at $155 with five rental properties or less. Some of the support that my chapter does is guidance through common tenancy problems. This was a super useful tool because when we had bed bugs, I had no idea what to do. The interesting thing is that it turned into a blame game. Everyone, everyone to everything got blamed. The neighbors, the previous tenant, the bed bug treatment company, even the house itself. It was a super stressful time. Our rental association really guided us through step by step what to do. They were the only reason why we made it out of the bed bug situation. The situation gets really tricky, especially when the current tenants are living in there. At the end of the day, everything got cleaned up and the property got rented out again. The next thing my association gives me is a discount on professional 
and easy to use forms that they provide. They have lawyers that vet the legality of these forms so you know that the lease They have lawyers that vet the legality of the forms so you know that the lease agreements are enforceable and will be upheld in court. These forms are also carbon copied so that it makes it easy to make triplicates. Then they have educational seminars and courses to enhance your knowledge and improve your business acumen. These courses include the Residential Tenancy Act courses, which a member can take at a discount. The last couple of things that my association does is that members save on tenant credit check through their exclusive rewards program. They also advocate on their members' behalf on major issues as well with their local government. With all these great resources, being part of your local rental association is a great place to get knowledge and improve your landlording skills. The fourth place I would look into is the Real Estate Investment Network website. They are highly focused on the Canadian market, but there are many places to find great content when it comes to real estate investing. Rain for over 29 years. Rain for over 29 years has been at the forefront to change the conversation about real estate investing. Serving over 150,000 clients, transacting 37,000 plus properties, and representing over $5.3 billion in real estate. They come out with many reports, including best cities to invest in. This report also includes a cycle update on whether or not each city is a good time to invest and what type of strategy to invest with. They also have a transportation effect report which evaluates what mass transportation projects are in the pipeline and how it could affect the value of the property. RAIN also invented many systems of their own, including the cash flow zone and the property goldmine scorecard. The CEO of RAIN, Patrick Francy, does this. The CEO of RAIN, Patrick Francy, does his own podcast called the Everyday Millionaire Podcast. In this podcast, Patrick Francy goes deep into the mindset of a guest on the show. These guests are so packed with knowledge and information that it's so enjoyable to listen to. RAIN is simply a great place to learn about real estate investing. The last tool for real estate investors that I would use is Zillow or Realtor.ca. These two tools are great ways to find properties for free without a real estate agent. It's a great tool to watch what is happening to the market. Using these websites will allow you to change your search criteria faster and help you see properties that your realtor may have filtered out because a keyword was excluded unknowingly. The website also comes with many tools like finding a realtor. You can search by location, name, and office. The tool that I love the most is the mortgage calculator. They have, 
they have they also the tool that I love the most is the mortgage calculator they also have a land transfer tax calculator and an affordability calculator it's amazing because you can find the house you want and then punch in the numbers to figure out whether or not you can afford it the last tool is their ideas and how to the last tool is their ideas and how to articles to get any person looking for a home the last tool is their ideas and how to articles to get any person looking for a home and get started they have tips for both buyers and sellers they have tips for commercial purchases and a living room blog the only thing you can't do is that when you search for homes you won't be able to view the house unless of course it has an open house you will still need a real estate agent if you want to have your own private showing the search criteria are also more limited than what a real estate agent can provide you overall how overall however mls websites like zillow and realtor.ca are great resources to have on your tool belt. I hope this list will help you find support while investing in real estate and becoming a landlord. If you did enjoy this list or you found it helpful, don't forget to smash that like button. It would really help my channel out. If you have any questions or will, if you have any questions or would like to add things to this list, make sure you join the many others at the Daddy Dad Facebook group. If you have any questions or would like to add things to this list, make sure you join me and the many others at the Daddy Dad Facebook group. Comment below what the best tool you think is. Make sure after you finish watching this video that you start using one of these items right away. It will change how you, it will change how to see investing. By utilizing these tools properly, you can become a way better real estate investor and a landlord. Investing and being a landlord is save of the ash method. Make sure you watch the information packed video on how to save by watching. Make sure you watch the information packed video on how to save by watching this video here. By following the ash method, you can reach that dream goal faster. Whether that is to live in the dream house of yours in Hawaii, travel the world, see Venice and experience the gondola. become financially independent and retire early. Whatever it is, make sure you subscribe to more videos. Whatever it is, make sure you script. Whatever it is, make sure you subscribe for more videos. Whatever it is, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. As always, until next time, thanks for watching.